already know what it is. It's your boy Chase Trey. It's Last Day Entertainment. Yo, I talk, you listen. Of course, tell me what you think. Yo, the LDENT family is growing. If you are already subscribed, big salute to you. Yo, I couldn't do this without you, but I do it for y'all. Yo, if you this is your first video that you're watching, yo, be sure to smash that like and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Yo, we dropping fresh content and it's the shit that's the worst of the worst. And we only dropping it and talking about it because it happened. Yo, with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so this story comes out of Las Vegas, yo, and it looks like the former Raider, wide receiver, Henry Ruggs III, allegedly was driving 156 miles with the blood alcohol content twice as Nevada's limit. Yo, he was driving a sport car when he slammed into the rear of another vehicle that burned, and he killed a 23-year-old woman. Damn. Where the hell you was going doing 156 miles at that, man? Yo, won't you just call an Uber? If you drunk, I'll get a lift. Anyway, Raiders been in the news a lot with their organization. First, the coach got fired, and now this dude, yo, he was released from the hospital and then booked into the Las Vegas jail. <laughs> yo, he got right out the hospital and they booked his ass. I think that's a good move, though. Because if he was doing 156 miles, yo, that's reckless endangerment. I mean, to your old former first-round NFL draft pick, remained seated in the wheelchair with a phone brace around his neck and guards at his elbow during the initial court appearance. It's not looking too good. Yo, these felony charges consist of driving under the influence of alcohol, resulting in a death, and reckless driving. On the crash, he had a passenger with him. His 22-year-old girlfriend was injured in a crash, and she underwent surgery to try to fix her severe arm injury. The occupants of the vehicle that Ruggs crashed into were three men and a woman, and they did not want to have any conversation or speak to the reporters, but they're seeking justice. Court records show that Ruggs was able to post a $150,000 bond in a short time after being arrested, and he was released from jail later on Wednesday evening. So the district attorney said he might also file a weapon charge against Ruggs related to possession of a weapon under the influence of alcohol. Yo, police found a loaded gun on the floor of the car after the crash. Here's the vehicle that Ruggs was driving, and here's the other vehicle that he slammed into that actually caught on fire and burned. But the airbag computer record showed that the Corvette decelerated from 156 miles to 127 miles before it slammed into the Toyota at 3.40 a.m. Yo, it ruptures the Toyota fuel tank and it ignited into fire. So the prosecutor is really digging in on this one. As he told the judge, since 2013, the NFL Player Association has contracted with rideshares services to provide free transportation to members. So this tragedy could have been definitely prevented, but yo, he wanted to drive with his gun under the influence of alcohol, and he ended up really hurting someone. Yo, it's real difficult now because probation is not an option in Nevada for a conviction on a DUI causing a death or a DUI causing substantial body injury. Both carry a pretty healthy sentence, 2 to 20 years in a state prison, added to the possible 1 to 6 years for reckless driving. Yo, Russ could be facing up to 46 years behind bars if convicted. Ruggs is due to appear in court again on November 10th, and the Raiders are not waiting until the court steps are over. They've already issued a statement on Tuesday night announcing that they're releasing Ruggs from the contract. This was a cornerstone of the Raiders. He was picked 12th overall in the 2020 draft after three years at Alabama, which included helping Crimson Tide win a national championship as a freshman 
in 2017. He was an emerging star this season with 24 catches for the team high of 469 yards and two touchdowns. As a rookie in 2020, he had 26 catches for 452 yards and also had two touchdowns. Oh, this is yet another blow to the Raiders organization after their coach had to step down after the reports from the New York Times identified emails and racial homophobic comments that he was making and now they're dealing with losing another player that may face time in jail. Yo, this is a prime example of how money is not going to solve problems. Probably want to make different decisions and in this case, oh, if you drunk, call a lift or use a friend to come pick you up. Somebody care about you enough to not let you out there driving, especially if you're intoxicated. Yo, you're not the same person when you drink. If you've been drinking, yo, sit your ass down. The fuck going on, man? You didn't kill somebody and ruined your career. Now you finna be in jail. Yo, my condolences to the family that lost someone during this tragedy and hoping that this opened up the eyes of other people as we go into the weekend to be safe. Yo, it's last day entertainment with your boy Chase Trey. I can't make this shit up. I'll talk, you listen. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. We out.